Facebook. You know, the site that helps you and your high school friends connect with violent extremists. It's one of the most powerful companies in the world, but it might just have met its match. 46 states have joined the government's groundbreaking legal challenge to Facebook. Two antitrust lawsuits accuse the world's biggest social network of illegally shutting down the competition. The Federal Trade Commission is asking for a federal court to force Facebook to sell off assets like Instagram and WhatsApp, arguing that in acquiring those competitors, Facebook illegally created a monopoly. On Wednesday, a bipartisan group of attorneys general from nearly every U.S. state filed its own lawsuit against Facebook accusing the company of predatory behavior. Facebook New York's Attorney General Letitia James is leading the lawsuit by the state, alleging if companies stepped into Facebook's turf or resisted pressure to sell, Zuckerberg would go into destroy mode, subjecting your business to the wrath of Mark. Some people believe that uh, Facebook is free. It really isn't free. Fact is, is that they use your personal data and they monetize it and they sell it to advertisers. And as a result of that, your data, your privacy, those protections are compromised. Okay, guys, this is like huge. 46 states and the federal government are suing to break up Facebook. That just shows you how widespread the feeling is that big tech has gotten out of hand because it didn't used to be that way. Remember how back in the day, we all had that cousin, you know, that cousin home from college who was like, I'm not giving the corporations my private photos. And most of us were like, man, we get what you're saying, but you're also a vegan. But now, more and more, the rest of us are like, huh, maybe I shouldn't have given big tech a perfect scan of my face so that they can recognize me wherever I go on the planet. Although, personally, I'm not too worried that Facebook knows everything about me and can manipulate me into buying stuff I don't need. I mean, some people might fall for that, but... Oh, snap. Wow. I don't have a hoodie in that color. Yeah, I'll buy one. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, that doesn't work on me, those ads and things. And can I just say I am very impressed that so many government officials are willing to come out against Facebook, especially when you consider how much Facebook knows about them. I mean, at the next hearing, some judge could be like, give me one good reason why we shouldn't break up Facebook and Instagram. Well, we've given everybody so much joy, your honor. In fact, let's just look at all of the messages that you've sent all of these Instagram thoughts. Okay, 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 case dismissed, let's move on. What's amazing to me is that even though America is so divided right now, almost every state agrees that something needs to be done about big tech. And look, whatever the merits of this particular lawsuit, the fact that it was brought at all should be a warning for Facebook. Because if what you're doing is so egregious that you're bringing California and Mississippi together, you done fucked up.